when you look at a message like this, right? Uber sends this out and says, Uber Pro, experience Uber Pro like a diamond driver. Congrats. You've been given limited time access to area preferences. An Uber Pro reward, usually exclusive to diamond status drivers, use up to two hours per day. Right, so wow, you know, we're going to give you a taste of what it's like to be a diamond driver. And by the way, just two hours, right? Not, not a full day, just two hours. And you got to break this down. You got to look behind the scenes what's going on here, right? So in the very next paragraph, they're pushing area preferences, right? Area preferences. Don't drivers like that. Yeah, we, we want to set our areas because there's certain areas we don't want to go to, right? And because we don't want to go to certain areas and we are not offered those area preferences because they are only available to those diamond drivers, we say, you know what, we are not going to risk the safety. This boils down to safety. This boils down to drivers dropping out of the Olympic Games of diamond, platinum, gold, silver, all this bullshit, right? Pro reward. People are not buying into that bullshit anymore. So you can see that this message here, clearly the, Ulu the Uber Olympic Games are crumbling. They don't have the ways and means to con and fool the drivers anymore to enroll in these idiotic programs, right? Because it should be our God-given right as an independent contractor to have area preferences. Why, Dara Kosha, shall we? Because, and David Risha, because we get to choose, we, right? Our car, we, the people that drive your company and bring in the money, we as the independent drivers, independent contractors get to choose the criteria. When we want to drive, you know, whether we want to accept peanuts or pennies or actually look and cherry pick for something decent, right? Because we have a worth. So we get to decide on that. We get to decide where we want to drive to. Oh, I'm not going to go to that part of um, that city. Too dangerous. So what they're doing here is they sort of using a lot of reverse psychology. Oh, you know, we'll let you be a diamond driver for two hours a day and you can have your area preferences. Area preferences should be our right, period, from the word go. From the moment we switch on that car, we should have area preferences. I want to drive there, there. I don't want to drive there, right? Again, I need to remind these CEOs daily. It doesn't get into their noggin, right? It doesn't get into their little small brains, right, that um, we get to choose, not you. So you can try and use the most manipulative language, the most BS campaigns, the Olympic Games of nonsense. We're not going to fall for it, right? And this is why you are having problems getting drivers because they say, you know what, you're taking away my fundamentals as an independent contractor, for example, area preferences. I'm not doing it. My life is worth too much, right? So in the next paragraph, what are area preferences? Well, we know what area preferences are, right? So preferred areas we wish to operate into. But you will only be given these for two hours a day, and we'll give you a little bit of a taste for it. They're trying to lure you in to this diamond thing, right? Because there's a whole lot of other bullshit going on in diamond, right? And... um you know, if you are a diamond driver, I'm not judging you. Maybe you put in crazy hours because you need to make money and you automatically become a diamond driver because you're just accepting anything and everything and you just have to. You're just desperate for cash and you're working double as much. So I'm not faulting you for that, right? But if you want to use your hours smartly, if you want to work smart per week, right, put in a certain amount of hours and make the maximum amount of money as an independent contractor should do, right? Um, you shouldn't have programs like that that are keeping you in the hamster wheel. You should be able to step outside of this little Olympic box and say, here, 
here are the hours, this is what I'm going to choose, this is what I want to make, if I don't make that, if I don't get paid that per hour, I'm done, I'm out, I'm leaving, right? But they will constantly try their little tricks and shenanigans to suck you in again like a vacuum cleaner. What are area preferences? Oh, area preferences lets you choose the areas where you pick up and drop off passengers, giving you even more control of your driving experience. Use up to two hours per day. Use up to two hours per day. Use up to two hours per day. You get it, right? So, again, we already know what area preferences are. They remind us, but it basically, it lets you choose the areas where you pick up and drop off passengers, giving you even more control. That is the, that is the key issue here. Just let's break this down. Giving you more control. That control, Dara Koshashawi and David Risha, as an independent contractor, let me remind you again, that is our right. We should be able to control that. We are independent contractors. However, they think, okay, we're going to do you a favor, right? We're going to allow you to choose these areas so that you can keep yourself safe. Safety, ladies and gentlemen, this boils down to safety. They are losing drivers. Drivers are not engaging in this bullshit because they don't feel safe. And drivers know their area preferences have been taken away from them. And drivers know that Uber is trying to lure them into something that they deserve and should have in the first place by offering crappy little programs like this. We are not stupid, Dara Koshishawin. Whichever engineer <clears throat> or idiotic team at 1455 Market Street, San Francisco, dreamt up this crap, right? You should be ashamed of yourself because you should go and look up on a computer, dear engineer, dear little working group, dear little think tank at 1455. You should go and look up what the rights are of an independent contractor. And when you, when you actually research that and find out what the meaning of an independent contractor is, you should retract and take all this bullshit away, right? Because you know you are wrong. You're trying to fool a couple of desperate people again by dangling. This is just dangling a little carrot. Come here, little driver. We'll give you area preferences. The smart driver says, here, fuck you. I deserve area preferences. You're taking it away from me or you're making it a condition. I'm not driving for you. You're not keeping me safe. You're not allowing me to operate in the areas that I should be driving in, right? So limited time offer. It's like a mark, like this little... You know, two for one, 50% off, limited time offer. Enjoy this Uber Pro Diamond reward on us. We're doing you a favor. We're doing it on us. Give me a break. Give me a break. You do it on us. No, us, the independent contractor, us should have that automatically, right? You are now making it conditional. This is a condition that is already written into the independent contractor code. Where we want to drive, when we want to drive, how much we want to get for that trip, whether we want to de decline or accept, that's our given right as an independent contractor. So more rewards to achieve like a pro Uber pro. Oh, like a pro Uber pro. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, more rewards to achieve like a pro. Uber Pro is a rewards program designed to help you reach your goals, <clears throat> earn points for every trip you take, and give you great service to and give great service to customers to reach higher Uber Pro status and enjoy more rewards like a cash reward, tuition coverage, and more. Your Uber Pro, your rewards, there is no value in it, Uber, right? Trying to package up a piece of dog shit and make it look like a chocolate cake. It's not, right? It still is a piece of dog shit. It's not a beautiful uh, black currant chocolate cake from Germany. No, it's not. that. That's what you're trying to make it out. But we are not stupid. So I would ask the drivers, and I would even ask the desperado drivers, don't fall for this, right? Once you're in this little psychological wheel, once you're there, then the games start beginning. Then 
then they are, then they have you in the wheel, driving around the wheel, and they're manipulating you on a whole different level, namely the Diamond Olympics level. You do not realize what they are doing with you. Other YouTubers, Sergio, everyone has talked about this. I have talked about this too many times. Many drivers have come back and said, you know what? Oh my God, you're right. I got sucked into this nonsense. They're extracting everything out of me and, and I'm falling for the psychology. What you are falling for, ladies and gentlemen, is a very highly sophisticated artificial intelligence machine or code or program that is interpreting all your driver habits, all your locations, all your times, all your hours and getting the maximum amount out of you. They are feeding you exactly what it takes to stay in that wheel so that they can maximize their profits. Now, I want to remind this idiot, Dara Koshashawi, right? Because he is on my shit list, right? He is the fact is the he is the most hated CEO in the United States, right? He has a security entourage that he pays a fortune for. He's driving around in New York subways with his security. He can't even go out in public. He lives isolated on his little island. And then he dictates to his team to find out or, or to go and research ways to screw over drivers even harder. Let's bend them over even a little bit more, right? Let them bend down and get that soap a little bit more. Dara Koshrashawi, stop. Stop with your nonsense, right? This is pure, pure evil of the highest degree what you are doing here. Just sadly, some people can't read between the lines. Some people can't understand what they really are, that they're independent contractors and what their rights are, because you're constantly tiring them out, you're exhausting them, and you're bombarding them with this daily bullshit, these new little pilot programs to see how much extra, to see how many few extra cents you can extract from these people. Just stop, right? Any company that wants to play an ethical game, I mean, if you would have started a company and they, I mean, and they sent you this gibberish and you say like, what is this about, right? This is what they tried out years ago and then they try to make it, make it more scammified and then they try to make their Olympic Games, Diamond, Platinum even more scammified. They're now at a point where people are realizing you don't allow me to drive in the areas where I want to drive. I don't drive. I don't feel safe. So this is a very sly roundabout way. Oh, two hours a day. Feel privileged. We will enroll you in this program and allow you to choose your area preferences. You're smarter than that, dear driver. You are way, way smarter than this, right? Your comments below. Do you interpret this the same way I do? Do you think like this is like the most ultimate beautiful program ever presented to you by Uber? Or do you feel like they're just trying to take the dildo and shove it up your ass a little bit deeper, right? You tell me, right? So hit the like button, subscribe, uh, comments, please leave them below. And, you know, tell, tell Dara Koshashawi what you feel about this, right? Tell, tell his employees and his teams that dream up this nonsense. Tell them how you truly feel about this. They should be ashamed. They should be ashamed of a program like this because they fought hard. They spent a lot of money to keep you as an independent contractor, right? And because they put over $200 million to fight that battle and brand you an independent contractor, I ask these investors and these executives, start treating the people like independent contractors, not like trash.